Oh, Jesus. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jesse Milani. Hello to my Jesse Milani fans and followers and subscribers. Speaking of subscribers, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and click that button, honey. Why are you still looking at me? I said click that button, honey. <laughs> and press the bell for post notifications so that you see whenever I upload a video here on YouTube. Make sure that at the end of this video that you find me on Instagram at Jesse Milani. Let's get started. I've been rocking my hair bald for three years already, which is crazy to even think. And I shared with you guys my hair coloring tutorial, which did really well on YouTube and I was surprised, but it is a little bit different now for one secret ingredient that you are waiting for. Everybody's been asking me how I get my hair platinum blonde, white honey. Today is the day. I'm tired of seeing y'all with this orange yellow hair. My hair used to do the same in it. I look back and I'm like, Yikes. Right now my hair is at a two and a half. I usually leave it at a two. So it will be a little bit shorter than this. The color is grown out a lot. I am not responsible for what happens to anybody's hair trying out how I color my hair. We all have different textures and we all have different ethnic backgrounds. So because I'm a model, this is my look. So I like it fresh. So I color it like once a week sometimes or once every week and a half, two weeks. This is two weeks of me having not colored it and it grew out some. If you're if you're cutting your hair at a one, a level one or a one and a half, you're gonna find that you're constantly coloring your hair often and it's gonna grow out. The shorter your hair is, the faster that the color is gonna disappear and then it's gonna gradually turn gray and then you'll get like that cute two-tone look which is kind of what I have right now. If I styled it and had gel in it and put some waves, it would actually be pretty cute, but that's not what this video is about today. So honey, keep watching and enjoy your time with Jesse Milani. Now it's time to go shopping with me because we gotta get this all together. Go grab your phone, grab your keys, grab your purse, cause we're about to go shopping at Sally's Beauty. Okay sis, so we need a bowl, a handy dandy bowl to start anything. Now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Techniques Quick. I said I'm gonna go in. Girl, what are you going in with? I'm going to, to apply or place in the damn bowl the L'Oreal Quick Blue Extra Strength for on and off scalp application. It already comes with a scoop. Remember in my last video, I told y'all get the bucket because you're gonna keep coloring your hair. Just buy the bucket. They do have these little packets, but grow by. I do one scoop. There has been a time where I only had like half of this because I had just a little bit of um, bleach that was in one of the packets when I did used to buy the packets. And then I didn't have a lot of developer either. So I used about half of the products half of the bleach, half of the developer, and I did this for half of the time that I'm showing you today. I did that before and it took me to the same color. Now, I just don't bother trying it to do it like that again because I don't have the time to be processing my hair twice like I used to. Because in my last tutorial, I showed you guys that I did this twice. We gonna be sitting for some time and I'm gonna tell you how long. And it might make you go, don't be mad at me, girl. Got my bleach. I'm going to take my developer, and this I do not measure. This is the Salon Care Professional 40 Volume Cream Developer like we found in Sally's when we went shopping. We, as in me and you, because I know you're watching this at Sally's. <laughs> kind of just eye it. I put enough to where it covers the bleach. I don't know how to really, I just eye it, okay? We can keep on adding more. There's a certain texture that I'm trying to get to. Are you ready, honey? Like, are you ready, ready? Okay, girl, I'm gonna stop playing with y'all and I'm gonna just tell you my little secret, okay? <laughs> dun, 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 
Changed my life. So this says on the back, since y'all not gonna read, because I know you ain't gonna read nothing. It says read directions prior to use. Girl, this in French. Lire la notouche jante avant de l'ouchlite light foot. La foot is like together with products. Oh my god, this is in French. <laughs> I think. Anyways, it's the Ardell Red Gold Corrector Plus. The thing about this product is that you don't want your mix to be purple. Your mix should not be purple. Otherwise, your head is going to burn. <laughs> let it burn, let it burn. Deep down, you know. No, this ain't Usher's song. Don't let it burn, okay? So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. When things are tiny like this, that means that they're very potent. And even eighteen is a bit much. Like I could have stopped at fifteen, but your girl just loves the white look. Now I'm taking my little ninety-nine cent or however much it was brush, and I'm going to use the end of it. I don't know. I just kind of like to play connect the dots with it. This just gives me an idea of how much purple is in here so that I can kind of see it before it mixes in with the um, the bleach. Oh, before you start mixing it and start using a brush, I mean me doing it like this right now is fine, but once I flip it over and start using this side, make sure you have on gloves because if you do not have on gloves, and let's say you forgot to buy the gloves or you ran out or whatever, just use like a paper towel at least and put it over your hand to like, you know, you know, mix the product up because your hands, what's gonna happen is your skin is gonna turn white and it's just gonna leave little patches. Put on just one glove, you don't need two, you're using one hand. These are reusable, I've used them about three times already. So now, honey, we are ready to mix. Am I only? Do I need to dab my skin? If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up before you forget. Now, the texture is everything. You want it to kind of look like this. And I like to say kind of like brownie mix. So, yeah. Um, and that's it. Three ingredients, super affordable. Let's start coloring. A second mirror, because I need to get to the bike. So if your hairline is anything like mine, um, you can actually ask your barber to not shave or cut this part of your hair because here is my area where I lack hair. Because when you color it, it changes the texture of your hair and you won't see that spot. But if you stay tuned and keep watching, I'm gonna share with you my secret product that I use to fill in my hairline when I'm on set and I'm working. Also, don't let this mix sit for too long. Um, uh, yeah, just, just don't do it. So I like to brush, oh, nice armpits. So I like to brush, brush down first it depends on the uh, direction in which your hair grows. Now I'm going to brush forward. Also, I noticed don't brush too hard. You're going to irritate your scalp. So make sure you're giving some, you're doing gentle brushes. At first I went in the direction that my hair grows, now I'm gonna do it opposite because that way it can really get to the root. Like you could brush through it once both ways, or if your hair is longer, I would suggest doing it a couple times so you feel like it's good enough. Make sure that you get the, the very edge of your hair, otherwise, if you're missing some of these little tiny, tiny hairs that are like on your face, 
then you're gonna have like a darker line around your, uh, your hairline. Now I'm somebody that likes, that swears that shopping in bulk is better. Just buy these in bulk. It's possible to have to be somewhere and color your hair and get ready at the same time. So there's been many times where I've beat my face and I'm coloring my hair. Ladies, a good tip is just don't do any forehead makeup. If you put concealer or use foundation to clean the top of your brows, just do that. Wait to put the foundation and powder on your forehead. Don't put foundation and powder on your forehead if you're doing your makeup and coloring your hair and letting it process. When you're done washing it out, then you could go back in to your makeup and finish your forehead and touch up the rest of it. Um, don't wash your hair out forward in the sink. Wash it out back. You can do it yourself. Having somebody else help you can be helpful, but if you don't have enough counter space to just lay flat, it's gonna be hard. Your back's gonna hurt, your neck's gonna hurt. It's gonna be a lot, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So, how long is she gonna sit with this hair color in her hair? I'm going to leave this in for two hours. I do not advise you to do two hours. Please just try an hour see what that does and you go about your business it's damaging and my mom was like you know what if your brain blah 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 I said honey if that's how God decided he gonna take me then it is what it is okay um, another thing girls if you guys are doing your makeup and you're letting your hair color sit, you're gonna have a shower cap line. So a good tip, may, I didn't try this, but maybe like cut the middle of here so that it's not um, like, you know what I mean. I'll see you guys in about two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this video, honey. All right, it's been two hours and it's time to wash out your hair and mine. Um, I don't use any fancy shampoo. Tresemme. I'm using the best conditioner that I can use, or at least that I'm aware of. Um, it actually is the conditioner that comes in uh, box dyes, and it's from the L'Oreal Paris um, Superior Preference Care Supreme, the number three, which is Color and Shine Conditioner. You can look on eBay and buy this, uh, like buy a bunch of these. Um, you also have the option of getting Keratin Color, Cape Bond, Plex Conditioner, also in the number three. Um, I don't use this one nearly as often as I use this, but when you wash out your hair with the um, shampoo, you're going to see that the texture feels a lot better after washing it with conditioner than any other, than like the conditioner to this, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm about to go wash out my hair myself and you'll see how my makeup is still intact. Pause for a second. It's a different day, it's a different time from the time that I filmed what you just watched. What you guys just watched is how I color my hair all the time. What you guys didn't see was that off of camera, I kept adding more developer and more toner because the mix was sitting out for so long because I was talking, 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 talking. I don't normally talk in front of the camera and then color my hair. I mix up my stuff and then I immediately apply it. But because I wanted to show you guys step by step how to get your hair this color, I, I messed up by adding way too much um, toner to the mix and that just kind of really like messed up my hair and I wasn't happy with how it came out. I, like I felt like my whole hairline got like burnt off, but luckily hair grows back. So it's all good. I was able to fill it in with this, that product. I'm keeping it real here. Who's watching this are girls who are just like me, girls who have their heads shaved. 
I know I messed up on my hair, but that doesn't have to do with what I showed you. I spent two hours sitting down while that color was in my hair, the video you just watched, I said I was gonna be editing it and I did and I put in a lot of effort into it and I didn't wanna just erase it all and then do a whole nother hair coloring process because I would still be talking and the color would still be out just kind of sitting there. Because we're in quarantine because of Corona, I let my hair grow out for about a month. I hadn't cut it, I didn't color it or anything. So I shaved my head myself and I colored it, same steps that you watch me do. And I processed it once for about two hours and it still had some yellow in it. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna color it a second time. I'm gonna process it a second time like I used to do back then. Use those same steps and I let it sit for 30 minutes. I feel like it took out the yellow and it really got it to this white color. You could process it once or you can process it twice. See where it gets you once. I suggest once. I don't really suggest processing it twice. I experienced my hairline being a little bit red and tender from processing it twice versus once. These photos here, I only process my hair once and let the bleach sit for about um, an hour and a half, two hours. I've told you I would share a secret of something that I do. Um, it's This is Color Wow. It's very, very dirty because I use it a lot. Um, this is the color uh, Light Blonde Platinum, very much used. <laughs> um, it has this color right here and you use the brush. And I actually bought this Revlon Wonder Woman palette. I've been using, the, since yesterday, this color right here. And I'm taking a brush and I just, Dapped it in and I'm just filling in. You see how you see what that did right there? And just filled in this spot. Um, and then after I do that, I'll brush it, brush it out just to blend it a little bit more evenly. It doesn't look perfect. I'm I'm not going to sit here and try to perfect it right now. Um, I'm fine with it. Like I don't have a perfect hairline. It is what it is. I was just born like this, so I'm not going to hate myself for it and try to drive myself crazy and spend so much time perfecting it. You know, it like the what if I fill it in a little bit, you know, I'm happy. It's cool. Using the color wow, this gives me more yellow than the platinum that they're that they say. So yeah, guys, I'm so happy to have this video out. It's gonna help my baldies. We not gonna be walking around with our hair looking yellow no mo. No, I don't wanna see it. And if you see it, please refer that person to this video. Just send it to them. You don't have to say anything. Just copy the link, DM it to them, and say, hey, you should check her out. If you watch this video and you're about to color your hair, please send me a picture so that I can see how it comes out. I'd love to post it on my story and give you a little shout out. Um, nothing, nothing bad should happen. Just listen to what I said. If you're skipping through this, you're gonna skip through very important things that I said. Notes about coloring your hair. This is a very toxic chemical, so you have to be careful. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And your girl is out, honey. Okay? <laughs> Bye, guys.